guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to make some apple crumble. This is the dessert to make. Well, not the apples, but the crumble. So yeah, let's get straight into it. So we are just gonna peel these apples got some red apples they're nothing special um it doesn't really matter what apple you use these ones are considerably sweeter um you can use green apples you can use pink lady you can use garlic apples um you can use granny smith apples as well make sure all the skin is off but we've got it off and then we just put it in a bowl of cold water and that's it so we do that with the rest of them too cool so once that's all peeled we're just going to shape our apples so what i do is i cut them into like fours or even smaller than that so like that cut out the core and then cut down the middle so we have nice shapes for our apples and then we can put it back in the water if you like just so it stops it from going you know musty so i'm moving our apple water into the new water um just for the sake of you know cleanliness hygiene whatever we just want to make sure that it's all good so it's not the end of the world if a lot of water gets in there, but we're just going to move it to our new water. Okay, apples on the heat in our pot. I'm going to add about one to two tablespoons of cinnamon powder. I'm going to add two tablespoons, or one and a half tablespoon actually, of light brown sugar. And we're going to let that cook down until the apples are fairly soft so that's going to be let's give it about 10 minutes and then we can come back to it so in the meantime while our apples are cooking i just made a mess <laughs> we are going to add okay about i'm going to say one and a half cup of plain flour and then oh, so we're making our crumble by the way in case that wasn't clear then we're going to grab some cold butter or margarine i'm never really too sure about the quantity since i always eyeball this but that's the good thing about apple crumble i feel like with this one it's not all about measurements um it's sort of like you go with the flow <laughs> but sometimes that can result in making too much or too little so I'm adding some butter because we're going to make our biscuity sort of topping. With that you want to grab your clean hand and you want to start sort of mixing the dough or crushing the um, flour with the butter. It will start to create a biscuity texture. I believe that it would be appropriate to add more butter. As you can see, it's really coming along a lot, like really nicely. Um, and that's exactly what we want. So just keep going, guys, and trust in the process. So here, here, here are our nice biscuit crumbs. And then we're going to add, 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 add our cinnamon powder if I can find it. Found it. So I'm just going to sprinkle it across. And then mix. So it has like a nice lovely brown colour. I'm happy with that. So we can put this to the side now. Okay, so it's been about, let's say 15 or so minutes. Our apples are soft 
as you may see, <laughs> as you can see. Um, so we are done. Okay, so we've got a ceramic dish right here. And we're just going to add our apples into our dish. So I've added all the apples. Yes. This is our cinnamony, watery sort of sauce for our crumble. And we're just going to pour it along our apples. I didn't put all of it because it would lead to a watery crumble. But just add like a decent amount. Then next you want to add our beautiful crumble that we made earlier. And we're just going to sprinkle that on top of our apples. So yeah. So just make sure that it's evenly distributed along the dish. I'm just making sure. Then I'm just gonna add another sprinkle above. So yeah. To top it all off, I'm gonna add some sugar, some granulated sugar. On top of our crumble. Just across. And that's it guys so now we're gonna put this in the oven for about 25 minutes since I've got quite a quite a lot of crumble um, 25 minutes seems about plausible maybe half an hour on a um, hundred and say 40 degrees so we've got preheating at 160 but i'm going to say we do it at 140 degrees because we don't want our crumble to burn so see you guys in about half an hour hey guys apple crumble is done and i am in loving it here don't worry about all of that that's the crumb that's the syrup thingy that was um put in the apples and it's just bubbled up and if anything i think it looks more delicious that way it's like the sweetest part so i'm gonna grab this nice little corner piece here Ooh, nice and biscuity. So look at that. That's our apple crumble, guys. It looks really nice, guys. But you can't have cu apple crumble without some custard. And luckily for you guys, this is a homemade custard. And if you have not seen my video on how to make homemade custard, which is very easy by the way, and nice and quick, um, I'm going to put that in the link. I'm going to put the link in the description so that you guys can check that out. And now it is time to eat. Bon appetit. And you guys need to have this. That's not even like a maybe it's a must now. So hope you guys have enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next one don't forget to like comment and subscribe anyways guys thanks and bye